Hi, my name's Rowan and I'm from Infinite Energy and today I'll be taking you through a step-by-step -step guide on how to restart your Feronius inverter. Restarting your inverter often resolves many of the issues that you may have. Let's begin. First of all, you need to turn off your AC isolator. Usually, your AC isolator is located adjacent to the inverter. In this case, the main switchboard is close enough so that the AC isolator is actually in the switchboard and labelled Main Switch Inverter Supply. So we're going to go ahead and turn that off. Next, we need to turn off the DC isolator. On all Feronia snap inverters, this is located under the inverter on the left hand side. So you'll have to reach under to get it. When we're turning it off, we need to turn it off in a clockwise position. So you need to reach under and turn. If you can see under the inverter, it will say DC disconnect and that's where the switch is pointing. So you'll need to wait about a minute to let the inverter de-energize before restarting. Okay, thanks for waiting. Now, to restart the inverter, we do exactly the same, but in reverse. So, we get hold of the DC isolator under the inverter, and we need to turn it in an anti-clockwise direction. And you'll hear it click. So we've turned that on. And then next, we just need to turn on the AC isolator. So we go back to the switchboard, and we turn that on by flicking the switch up. And we need to wait about a minute or two for the inverter to restart. Now, often restarting the inverter will resolve many of the issues that you have. And if it doesn't, please contact Infinite Energy.